I thought it might be interesting to show you some of the real specific workflow type options that are available, and especially when it comes to programs and how they're linked to combis. First, I want to go through some of the issues that I was trying to improve, and not only the workflow, but also make it less likely to make an error. I'm going to first show these issues using tools that are currently out there, and I just want to say I'm in no way putting them down. In many cases, they act just like the Kronos does, and they're great tools, and they're free, and they're currently available. But it's a convenient way to make the video and show exactly what I'm talking about. Major issue we have is breaking or changing program links with combis. And here's an example. Let's say you land on combi IA30, Gospel Time, and you think, man, that's perfect, but um, it should be an electric piano instead of a grand piano. Well, often the best workflow is probably to duplicate the combi and then in the duplicate, change the timbre of the piano to the electric. But beginners don't always know that, and it's easy to make the mistake even when you do know, and, and it's kind of this mistake. We take an electric piano program, and we copy it, and paste it in place of the acoustic, and there we go, great. The gospel time combi has the electric piano in it. But, as many have learned the hard way, if you change a program, you change all of the combis associated with it. So in this case, if we later look at the classical grand and orchestra patch, we might think, what's going on? There's no grand piano, it's an electric piano. Well, that's because it used to look like this with that grand piano, but when we replaced the grand piano in A3, we changed every combi that used that piano. So you get that kind of surprise sometimes. But there's really no way to know. That's the problem. There's no way of knowing what programs you can change and delete or move and not mess other things up. Now, the editor we get from Korg tries to help with this. And as you can see here, as I mouse over the programs, it shows me linked combis. Now, I have a couple problems with this. First, I don't like the design of it not showing me what I have selected, but rather where my mouse is. That can be kind of confusing and doesn't really correlate very well with, with what you're working on. Also, it only shows me the combi name. So I know it's linked, but you know who knows where the combi is, and if I want to go check out what it's doing, do I care about this combi? There's really kind of no place to go. So let's take a look at some of the things I've set up here. So if we go to the Program tab and we move down to German New Age Grand, we can see the combi linkage window and there's currently three combis that use this program. So right off, this tells us we change it for the gospel time combi, we're changing it for the other two. So maybe that's not what we want to do here. But it's easy enough to make those decisions. And for example, it shows us the bank and combi numbers. So I can go take a look, or I can just double click on a combi, and it takes us there, and I might decide, hey, it's, it's just fine to change this, or I can just whack this combi, I don't care but it's an informed decision. I'm able to jump back and forth and see exactly what's going on. So now I'm gonna go through the basic cut and paste and you can see the other ways the program page is combi aware. If I copy a program and it has no combi links and I paste it where there are no links, it's all pretty much the standard stuff that you'd expect to just paste it into the slot. Now I'm gonna copy this program again and this time paste it where there is a program that does have a link to a combi. And I get this program link to combi dialog, and it has four options. If I realize I'm about to make a mistake, I can cancel, or I can paste in a few different ways. Overwrite will paste the program and overwrite the combi link. So you see, no combi will be linked to this, just like there was no combi link to the original that I copied. Replace is like what the Kronos and the other tools do. It replaces the program, but it doesn't affect the combi link that's already there, and that's just like what we saw before. Paste and move is a two-part command. When I've pasted the first program I copied, it doesn't overwrite, but at the same time, it copies the program that was just overwritten along with its combi links. This means I can paste it back anywhere, 
And now, not only hasn't the program been lost, but the combi can still use it because the link has been reset to that new location. Okay, now we'll copy a program that does have a link to a combi. This will bring up the Select Combi Copy dialog. And what this does is allows us to decide which links will travel with the copy. If I don't pick any, the pasted program doesn't show any combi links, and the original retains the links to the combi. I'll copy that again, and this time I pick the combi link that's showing. Now when I paste it, this copy is linked to the combi, and if we look at the original, it's no longer linked. Let's look at a program that has multiple links. I do a copy and get the dialog, and I'll pick two out of the three links. Paste. And you see the pasted program is linked to those two combis, and the original is still linked to the third combi. So that gives me a chance to move things around and keep links as needed. The main idea here is to have a lot of flexibility, which really helps with workflow. At a basic level, it shows you what programs have links and require some judicious editing. And of course, you can always add or duplicate banks and programs to be extra safe, but sometimes for like custom sound sets and other reasons, it isn't always that practical to keep duplicating and have lots of copies of things and really shuffling things into the right place with the right connections is a better way to go and gives you a final product that's a little more useful. So there are some workflows using CombiAware, and thanks for watching.